most museums could not operate without volunteers. Uh, we have a, a staff of approximately 15 people and the volunteers that I have add up close to 250. And this gives me a whole new outlet to um, share my knowledge of Sparky with the rest of the world and I enjoy that very much because he was a remarkable man. I knew Sparky quite well for about 17 years. We played golf together and had lunch together and, and we were good friends. A volunteer is really somebody who can help out when somebody who's getting paid can't, you know. A volunteer does different things depending on the kind of uh, job they volunteered for. We have a, a, a really wonderful training program to help them uh, learn about the museum, about Mr. Schultz, about his artwork. We have volunteers who are docents and they're the ones who give guided tours. They also staff the education room and help the public with our hands-on activities that we offer. Other volunteers greet the public, help them in the gift store, monitor the galleries and answer questions for people that are visiting here. Um, and we have quite a few behind the scenes volunteers as well that help out in the office and also volunteers that help us with receptions, uh, uh, special events and programs. It's primarily a uh, uh, helping people coming through to understand better what, what they're looking at and how it's been done and uh, what uh, Mr. Schultz had in mind when he when he did the original drawings. A volunteer at the Schultz Museum is a link between the community and the visitor at large. I have a volunteer who is not yet 16 years old, and I have a volunteer who is 85 years old. And that's a wide gap of years and they can work together and it's really rewarding and, I, and that's why I see this program going, uh, uh, developing new volunteers uh, for the future. It, it's kind of fun being the youngest um, and you get to learn a lot of stuff about from the other people. It's uh, really interesting to hear some of the stories that the older people have. And we were sitting talking, I said, uh, Sparky, I said, you know, you're, you're a great artist and I I really admire your artwork, but I said, you, you're really a better philosopher than you are an artist. I did not meet Sparky myself. Uh, I came on board after his death. So um, um, I was uh, concerned about that because um, this museum is, his, is about his life. But I'll tell you, working with the volunteers have helped me to feel like I knew him and that, that I, that he was my friend. And this is, uh, has been really uh, a wonderful thing for me. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Actually, one of the really good parts about being a docent here is, um, is talking to people. I didn't realize really, well, I mean, I used to talk to people in my job, but this is the, most, the best part of this job is, is talking to people. I, I love it here. It's just really, it's a lot of fun and I have a great time volunteering.